Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason Mason with Wyatt and Sons Construction. In today's video, we are getting a floor ready. We got Saul the Saul man here, yeah, Jake cool. Martin. What's going on guys? Well, Saul's getting the plumbing ready over here. We got holes we gotta have pipe sticking out of. And we're setting this plastic drain for the garage floor. It just pretty much snaps together like Legos. Pretty simple. We dug a trench so we can lay pipe in there and connect it to our drain. That way the water will go out the side of the building. All I gotta do is get the stakes, set this end to height, that end to height, make sure there's pitch and it runs out the drain. Then in the back here where the plumbing's going, there's gonna be walls and stuff. So there's gonna be 25 foot of flat concrete on the ground and then pitched into our drain here, the last little four foot. So this will all be nice and flat so they can put walls up. We got wire, ready to put that everywhere. Make it real strong, like right. Saul here. <laughs> yeah, you think you can pick that up? Pick it up how? Like pick it up in there. Yeah, pick it up. Oh, no way. <laughs> hey Mason. I bet you, you can't pick up a roll of wire. <laughs> I bet I can. Damn it! Hey man, we gotta get back to work. Quit messing with me. <laughs> We got the laser transit up, so we're gonna set our drain now. Pipes are starting to pop up out of the floor everywhere. Digging holes everywhere. Just getting it good. Yep, that's great, Saul. That's great. Good job. Then you do one of these. For like five minutes. Yell at him, he's not working hard enough. Get to game. work. What are you stopping for? Alright, good. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Job doggy. Nice vest you got on. Way to be working hard. Drain is set. Runs water. Good job, Saul. <laughs> we checked the grade back there where it's flat. Everything is perfect. Excavators did a great job on this grade. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks. Now we gotta check the grade where the drain's at here. We gotta dig a hole to put that drain in. So there's a pile of rocks here and we just gotta dig them out and check it with our string line, All right? We're all graded up, drain set, got the wire in, bulkheads, line snapped, and we're ready to pour this floor. 7 a.m. Concrete truck's coming in a half hour. Finally got to take the long johns off. Dude, you almost lost those in the ceiling. I'm trying to take the long johns off. Stop recording. Damn it, Jake. Put your pants on. <laughs> okay, we don't need them anymore. It's that time of year, finally. <laughs> we got screeds, full float, wheelbarrows, shovels, come alongs. Then we're just waiting on the concrete truck. First big pour of the year. It's finally warm out. I don't know if you saw last time we were here, there was snow on the ground. It's gone, except over there. You see that, see that? Yeah. Truck's here. Big Bad Brett got a new paint job. Bre Breast cancer awareness truck. Never seen anything like that before, that's pretty cool. Dad's got his fancy chair on, west side, even though we're on the east coast. What do you think of Brett's truck? Pretty cool, right? Cool. You got a nice truck. Yeah, I got a couple pictures and a video. <laughs> what do you think, Saul? I like it. This thing doesn't look like it's been used before. It's brand new. He's mixing our mud up now. We're about to get started.
one truck's done second truck's here first one's washing up we got jerry bear as our second driver he don't like to be videoed so i'm not gonna have him on the camera we got big and beautiful jakey here oh yeah looking looking shredded buddy everybody's got their shirts off must be a nice day out <laughs> it's still like winter time dude what the hell it's nice as fuck outside <laughs> What was that? How pasty am I? I mean, it's your first time without a shirt <laughs> off, so pretty pasty. Everybody is. This is what 10 yards looks like, all spread out five inches thick. Second truck is done, and that's what 20 yards looks like. Pretty nice, both loaded, real shiny. Saul's taking care of her drain. Oh, well, you <laughs> holding your hair. Yeah. We, got, we got 16 inches of ponytail crying across your back when you're sweating. It's just a sweat trap. It's like a mop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're probably like, why are we edging this drain? Well, it just makes cleanup a lot easier, and we've had problems in the past where we had to come and grind them down. This causes no problems. Once this hardens up, we'll put a little bead of caulk in here and it is going to be the best drain that ever existed. Right? Right? Oh, we yeah. did it. That's, we yeah, did we it. Did That's why. Shit. Jerry's not supposed to be on camera, but he's repping our shirt. You see that? The best part about pouring with Brett is he's so good at pouring in the truck, we barely have to rake it. We didn't even touch it yet. It's pretty much right where it goes. Thank you. All right, we're all done pouring three trucks. Brett's washing up, about to head out. We're almost ready to throw the power trowler on here. Saul's edging the doorway, and then he's gonna edge our drain over there. Getting our mud boards around. Got these brand new ones. Bond Tool Co. Comfort knee board. Yeah, these things look awesome. We never had these before. We usually make them ourselves out of plywood. What do you think, Saul? I, I'm pretty excited. They're pretty you like nice. them? Yeah. Nice. Dad put swirlies all over the floor. New power trailer. New power trailer, too. Yeah. Bartel power trailer. Very nice. What do you think about it? Awesome. 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 We haven't had a new power trailer since I was born. Right? I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> you have to videotape the other one that's about 20 years old. Yeah. I'll go. All right. Here, here it is. This thing's as old as I am. It's, it's probably uh, been across like uh, thousands of yards of concrete. I don't know. What, what would you think? That's my binky. That's your binky? You got enough room out there for me or what? Yeah. No. Uh, no, get out. So here's here's our fancy mud boards and there's the homemade ones. We got So yeah, we rubbed all the edges. I edged the drain, rubbed that, and I found out after a long winter of not working real hard, I have soft boy hands. Uh, yeah, I got a couple blisters, not feeling so hot. It's getting close back here, but you can still see the swirls and it's not burning. So we probably got about another hour yet. Looking good though. A little tip if you're wondering how to use a power trowler, you notice how my dad is standing behind it and he's going towards that door. So what that does is everywhere he's stepping, the power trowler is covering up his footprints. And that's just pretty much the general idea of how to run a power trowler. Go backwards. Still 
some squirrels, but they're starting to go away. Almost done. Truck started, we're heading out. Uh, power trailer is loaded up. We're gonna clean it at home because I don't want to do it here. Taking Saul's truck from him today. We're all finished. We will be back tomorrow to clean up this drain and saw cut. Next day, had the job, time to saw cut. Got a couple lines snapped. Turned out really nice, it's super smooth. Chalk line for the saw cuts. Nice and smooth. I can do twists and spins. Turned out great. Good job, boys. Thank you. <laughs>Saw cuts are all done. Looking good. Now they're cleaning up this drain. Ripping the tape off. What do you think about that, Annette? Huh? It's great. It's great? Good. Yeah, that's awesome. Beasley came to help you. We need each other letting something revolutionary happen last night. What's that? We, we hey! Good job, dogs. Relax. Finish your story, what's going on? Oh, I just bought another dog that's five on enough. So now we have six? Yeah, and then we get another one in July. Seven. Yeah, so I think our dog deficit is, is good. Yeah. Seven dogs, 12 cats, two goats, bunch of chickens, what's next? Horse! A horse! A horse. We got a horse on the way. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for sticking around. We got more stuff coming out. Like for example, on this job, we're gonna be pouring a pad back there and putting a fireplace. So we got that fireplace back there and we're gonna pour a nice apron out front. So that'll be the next video. And maybe uh, we'll have a job dog by then. We got it all prepped up. I got one pin in and I only have one little cap and I don't want anybody tripping over this stuff. So I'm just gonna wait for the pour. Don't want any more accidents. Yeah, Saul let his finger open. <laughs>